Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a very common issue that many users face, which is the perimeter is incorrect error on external hard drives. This error can be super frustrating, but do not worry because we've got you covered. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you never miss out on our tech tutorials. Also, if you have any questions, or solutions of your own, drop them in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's understand what the perimeter is incorrect actually means. So this error typically occurs when Windows uh, encounters issues accessing your external hard drive, which often occur due to uh, connectivity problems, system file corruption, or even incorrect settings. When you see the perimeter is incorrect error, it means that Windows cannot access the data on your external hard drive. And this can happen for several reasons, including file system corruption, bad sectors on the drive, connectivity issues, and even outdated or corrupted drivers. Now, let's explore the practical methods on how to solve the perimeter is incorrect error on your external hard drive. Method number one, run checkdisk slash F slash R. Running the checkdisk utility can help identify and fix file system errors and bad sectors that might be causing the issue. Connect your external hard drive to your computer. Then press Win plus X to select command prompt in admin mode to open the command prompt with administrative privileges. In the command prompt window, type the following and then replace X with the drive letter of your external hard drive and then press enter. The utility will scan for errors and attempt to fix them. This process may take some time, depending on the size of your drive and the number of errors also found. Once the scan is complete, restart your computer and check if the error persists. Method number two, run system file checker scan. The system file checker can repair the corrupted system files that might be causing the error that we have right now. Press Win plus X and select command prompt admin to open the command prompt with administrative privileges. Now type SFC space slash scan now and then press enter. The scan will begin and may take some several minutes to complete. If any corrupted files are found, the tool will attempt to repair them automatically. After the scan, restart your computer and try accessing your external hard drive once again. Method number three, update or reinstall disk drivers. Outdated or corrupted drivers can lead to the perimeter is incorrect error. So updating them or reinstalling them can help fix this issue. Press Win plus X and select Device Manager. Now expand the disk drive section to see a list of connected drives. Right click on your external hard drive and select Update Driver. Choose Search Automatically for Update Drive Software and follow the on-screen instructions. If no updates are found, you can choose Uninstall Device, then disconnect and reconnect your external hard drive to reinstall the driver automatically. Now, after updating or reinstalling the driver, restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved. If you're concerned about data loss, then using a reliable data recovery tool like Recoverit can help you recover your files before attempting any fixes that might just damage your data. Download and install Recovery from the official website. Then launch the program and select External Devices Recovery. Now choose your external hard drive from the list of devices and click Start. The software will scan the drive for recoverable files and this may take some time depending on the drive size and condition. Once the scan is complete, preview and select the files you wish to recover, then click on the Recover button to save them to a safe location on your computer. By following these steps, you can recover your important data before proceeding with other fixes. Dealing with a perimeter is incorrect error on an external hard drive can be challenging, but it can all go away if using the methods we were discussing just today, such as running check disk, performing a system file checker, updating drivers, or even using recovery to recover files. They can all effectively solve the problem. If you have any questions or run into any more issues, then let us know in the comments below and we'll respond as soon as possible. Also, once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future tech tips. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.